Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So excited because we are now at the beginning of November. Soon we'll be at the end, I'm sure. It's like that. But I am excited because November is generally when I start getting the Christmas feels. I don't like seeing Christmas until after Halloween. I know that's crazy, but I swear places are moving things up sooner and sooner and it's driving me crazy. I don't know about you all. But today, because it is November, I am going to start to pull out my holiday stuff. And I was kind of putting stuff away, getting stuff out. Now, I still have my... What palette do I have? Oh, the Friday the 13th palette out. I don't know how long I'll keep that out. Well, I'm going to keep that out because that's a winter color story for me, personally. But... And I haven't played with it as much. The Chucky one is still out, but I got a feeling it's going away. I thought I'd keep it over, like, I never thought something beat that, to be honest with you, from Glam Light. But I try to keep a palette of each brand around me that I truly like so I can play, you know? But anywho, today I pulled out some Christmas stuff, and I pulled out, y'all, I got the BH Naughty and Nice, right? I don't know if y'all remember it. But I love these palettes. I do. Now, I love the Naughty better than the Nice. I think the Naughty's got a better formula in it than the Nice palette. But the Nice palette's still nice. Okay? It's still nice. Now, you can't get these anymore, I don't think. And I, I don't even know really where BH is anymore. But this is what the palette looks like inside. And you just have so much variety. And it is, like, the packaging is screaming Christmas theme for sure. But you could use this all throughout the year if you wanted to. You know, the color story gives you that. I, To me, it does lean more fall and winter than maybe spring and summer. But I do still think you can get spring and summer in this too. But let's create this look here because... I was so excited to pull this out. I mean, just the names of it, like Santa Baby, Rudolph, Candy Cane, Jingle Bells. I mean, all this stuff. Ugh. But we're going into Santa Baby first, y'all. You, I had to, you know? But, yeah, I was so excited when November hit because I started pulling all of my holiday stuff. And I was going to wait till December to, um start to like use the palettes because I have a good bit of them but not like an over abundance of like Christmas palettes obviously I have a lot of palettes but I do want to play with some of the newer ones too the newer launches for this year but I also want to play with my older ones and this is one now the color pop and the root off the red nose reindeer oh love it and like I said, out of that whole collection, I would definitely go with just getting the palette and the lip kit personally, but it's up to you all. But, it, you know, that's just preference is why I say that. Like, if you like other stuff, then you go right ahead and get it. You won't be disappointed in the formulas. It's just not my thing. Or I just don't need it, you know, type of thing. I just ran that same shade under the lower lash line. And the other day, I had to get ready really quick. I, I couldn't even, I couldn't have filmed. But I used a, um, the Charlotte Tilbury. I, I know, I get off track so easily. But I used this here. Sunset Rose. It's a cream shadow. And you can see the dust. Like, I've got dust building up on this, okay? I never even used it until yesterday. And it was really pretty. I laid it down all over the lid, blended it through the crease. And then I put the one of the moon dust shades on it. I put the moon dust shade, I think the one, yeah, Space Cowboy, the one that everybody talks about, which I just watched the video of this. I get it. I get where that comes in handy now. I don't think that is necessarily something I need. And I do think that the Space Cowboy shade is very, very pretty. 
But again, I don't think it's necessarily my favorite. I still think that the Starlight one I have is my favorite, even though you can't get it no more. Or at least I don't see it. But with that aside, I get why somebody would want that. And it's like, I don't ever understand, like, I don't get, let's go into the next shade. We're going to go into brick. So you use Santa Baby, this one right here, and now we're going to go into brick down here. See, I never understood the one shadows, to be honest. Because to me, where I have such a large collection, I don't want to just dip into one shadow. Yes, I think they're pretty looks. It's just, I want to use more than just one shadow. You know what I mean? However, yesterday I realized, yeah, I'm that person too. <laughs> like, when you're in a rush, you really want to create something pretty but yet get it done and it took me 30 minutes to do my whole look yesterday and it turned out so much better than I thought it was like I would have never thought like I wouldn't have thought okay like these looks here take me a good bit of time because color and all and I just don't do color well like, it's harder for me because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just an everyday consumer type of person, you know? But yesterday, I mean, you would have thought it looked like I took so much time on that look. And I, it didn't. It really didn't. I got the my whole makeup look done in 30 minutes. And I was like, well. And the Space Cowboy, I mean, it shined. But again, could I have... Well, I could have grabbed from my Natasha and Nona. But it was just something so quick. Like, it was just sitting in front of me and it was like, bam. And I didn't have to... It's not that I have to search for my Natasha and Nona because I know where it's at. But, you know, I didn't even have to think really about it. I just... I think it depends on, like, what type of person you are. Like, do you have the time to sit down and do your makeup? Or are you, you know, on the go just trying to get... To looking presentable or wanting to feel a little bit better type of thing. Or, you know, you just out the door with no makeup even. Because I do that too. <laughs> I do my skincare and I'm out the door. And generally, I don't do my makeup if I can't. We're going to go back into Santa Baby. But I don't do my, if I can't like sit down and do my makeup, I don't do makeup, right? Generally, I don't. I really don't. It's like seriously, if I don't have time to sit down and actually do it, I won't. I would rather just go with nothing. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way I am. And we're going to go into... Ah. Uh, candied fruit this shade right here and I'm just gonna lay it all over the lid but I uh, had to go to my daughter's uh, performance and I was like well I better you know get ready <laughs> in a short amount of time and um, 30 minutes I was impressed with myself I mean, look at that shade. It's so pretty. And again, is this like the best palette ever created? No, it's not. But for the price point, yes. It's a, it was really, it is still really good. And I mean, and it's still performing really good. So that says a lot to me too on how things will perform long after you purchase them. I mean, I you do have to take care of them, mind you. You can't leave them just laying open day after day after day, but this palette still looks brand new, to be honest with you. Okay, now we're going to go into Snow Day. This one is white right here, and I love this shade because it is white. It's not the white that turns pink or peach. It's white. And we're just going to pop that right in the inner corner. 
and blend it out a little bit because it's dark white, y'all. And that was the other reason I love this palette. It goes so light to dark. Like, white. You, you can't get no better than white, you know? And it's a metallic white, so yes, please. That is my type of white right there. And then I use the shade, um... Kicker. Alright. Yep. For the waterline by Colourpop. But yeah, like, I just had a lot of fun playing with this palette again. I'm so excited to have it back out. Like I said, you can play with this all year long if you have it. Or if you were gifted it, you know. But where I have such a large collection, you know, I like to rotate my stuff. I like to use get a familiar feeling for it, and I just love this palette, I really do. And it's not my most luxe palette, it's not my most fanciest palette, but man does it perform. We're gonna go into Nutcracker right here, and I'm gonna line my lower lash line and my top lash line with it. And I do like the fact that it goes light to dark, I think I said that already, but just want to point it out there again. And it's got a lot of my color story in it. Oh, it's got greens too. I might use this palette to practice with, actually. And see what all I have to come up with with it to be honest and obviously it's a larger palette so you got way more options but I knew when that released I wanted to try it I own a couple of BH stuff. Not much, but a couple. And like I said, I don't even know if they're still in business. Or not. But. I'm telling you. This is probably my favorite palette. By them. And I was so glad I bought it. Because I was almost not going to. But if you do like the color pop and the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, go for that palette. It's it is good. It really is. I mean, you probably it's kind of the same color story that's always out at Christmas. But I love. I am so partial to Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. So I'm like a child when it comes to that. So for top lashes, we're gonna go in. Oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. So, this is this look and this one. And what I've done was, is that I applied a little bit of this chestnut. Just a very little bit of it. On the center of the eye. It feels like a glitter. It's not, I mean, it is, it is. But, it's not too bad. Like, if you sprayed it and stuff, I think you wouldn't get that much fallout. But I applied just a little bit right in the middle of the lid. Like, barely anything. And I didn't get too much fallout. So. And it's just so pretty, that shade is. But you see how I just put a little bit of something right in the middle. We're going to use the Grande. What is this? Drama. Intense thickening mascara with castor oil. For the top lashes. But I will say yesterday, doing that look so quick, I do see where that came in handy. 
Now, if I didn't have it, would I still have been able to create a look quick? Yeah, I could have did it easily with a Natasha and a palette. But I think it depends on what's in your collection and what you want in your collection so that you know if you need something or want it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't necessarily think the moon dust are meant for me, even though they did save me in a bind. And I am curious though to play because I have the shade Oyster, I think, in the cream pot too. And I wanna try it with one of the, one of those shadows too. Another quick look in a way. But y'all, I was just so pleased with myself that I created a whole look in 30 minutes. Because generally, like I said, it takes me hours. Probably two hours. But I also feel like that's my time. Now, I'm doing other stuff in those two hours, you know. Whether it be doing dishes, laundry, whatever. I'm not just sitting here for two hours. I don't know about this mascara. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. But what I'm cur most curious about with it is, is it gonna really help my lashes with the castor oil? That's what I'm really curious about and trying to figure out. I don't think it's like the best mascara as far as like what my lashes look like at the end. But I do, they look good enough to where if it's actually benefiting me, I might buy it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Still haven't got my hair cut, y'all. Headaches are coming on full force. It's crazy. I'm just like, I, because I just don't know what I want to do. You know what I mean? I don't know what, how I want to cut it, how much I want to cut. And given whatever day it is, I could be like, cut it all off, you know? But then there's days where I'm having a good hair day and I'm like, oh... I don't want to cut it at all. Why can't these headaches go away? But yeah, I am really impressed with the way this turned out today. I'll go through. I mean, maybe not the rest of my makeup. I'm not a big... <laughs> not a fan of the blush, to be honest. Even though I think it looks okay with this particular look. This is just a clean brush. I'm not, like, sold on the color of the blush. If, you, if that makes any sense. If I'm making any sense, who knows. I think tomorrow I'll play at the Nice Palette so you can see. Like, it's definitely both of, like, these are different formulas, hands down, in these palettes. Even though it's the same by the same company, same time, different formulas for sure. And I do like the bigger palette better than the smaller palette. Still have the same feelings about it. But I do like the Nice Palette too. It's nice for the price point and everything else, you know, and the cute packaging and all that. But anywho, um, for blush today, I got into the Beauty and the Beast look. I still have my plastic that goes in these two. Let me put that back before I lose it. Alright. There we go. Alright. I pulled out the Beast, Beauty and the Beast in Sigma. And I really like the Something Sweet and the highlighter. Like, I like these two for sure. Love them. This, I'm not going to be able to use the highlighter very much longer, though. Because I'm starting to, you know, the sun's not hitting me. I'm not outside as much. It's cold. Getting cold. And uh, I'm starting to get paler. But 
I'm wearing the Beauty Within today, and this is the first day I've worn it, and I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about that blush, to be honest with you. But it's not ugly. Like, it's not like it's horrible, but it's not my favorite. Like, I don't think I'll grab for that particular shade again, that's for sure. But I will grab for the Something Sweet in Lumiere, for sure. Um, as far as the, uh, the highlighter, of course, is Lumiere. The bronzer today I picked. What did I use? Oh, I got into the Hourglass. You know, you just, you can't. You cannot go wrong with Hourglass bronzers. I mean, I said it. You just can't. Like, you can't overdo it. You can't underdo it. You can't not blend, like, all this stuff. You just, it's just, you just can't. So, anyway, I'm using the bronzer, Golden Bronze Light from this one. This bronzer right here. And then, for foundation, I pulled out, um, I don't even think you can get this anymore, but it's the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation, and I have it in 20 Light yellow and then it says beige this one here and I will say that this is yellow it does go yellow so my skin's a little more yellow than usual but that's okay I still like it it reminds me a lot of the uh CC nude glow and the Armani neo nude foundation is what that one reminds me of and I like that I like that formula. It doesn't stick in my... And maybe it's because I did something different with foundation or, I mean, primer. I've been using the Yummy Skin Glow Serum as a primer. So it may be like plumping up my fine lines. But like, I have been loving those three foundations. And then for concealer, I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Concealer in N4. For powder, oh, Lunar Beauty, as always, I'm in love with this powder now. It's been my fave. And that's everything, right? It's for nail polish. I only have the, it's not the Rose Bouquet, it's the other one, Summer Something. I forget what it's called now, but it's that one. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. Oh, lips. The lips, I decided to pull out. I decided to use the Hershey's to see if this was indeed like the Clarice. The I Think You're Cute collection. This is not. These are not the same. The lipstick kind of is. The lip liner is so dark. So much darker. This is more like the Nude Venus than this is. Because this liner is more brown. To be honest but still kind of the same vibe in a way you know what I mean but not the same at the same time but I I like the lip you know I still like it nonetheless I really do so I use that today for lips out of them I think that the little Pat McGrath set is my favorite though I really do think I like the nude Venus the best then the Rudolph with the Clarice. And then the Hershey, I think, if I had to, like, put them in order of which I like the best as far as it goes. But I do, my preference is more pinky leaning, just so you know. But overall, I think this look is so cute. Is it my best look I've ever done? No. Does that palette create my most favorite look I've ever created? No. Not my favorite, not, you know, nothing like that, but it gives me so much variety and like my imagination is not all that great, you know, trying to pair colors, but the palette makes it easy to have the, the, you know, for me to do that. And I, I just adore it. I really do. And I think they should bring it back. I think they should do like ColourPop did. And Brie bring back these two palettes, at least the Naughty, for sure. But maybe the, the Nice, too. 
Because I heard the Miss, I think they came out with the Mrs. Claus one too. I don't think I got that one. I'll have to look. I don't think I did though. I'm not for sure though. You know, I am surprised. Has anybody done a collab with Santa Claus? I need to know this. I need to research that. Because how have there been Christmas things without a Santa Claus? They don't even add up to me. How about Frosty? I mean, that would be black and white, though, wouldn't it? Pretty much. Orange. Horse carrot nose. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoyed me rambling on about absolutely nothing. I personally love the look. Could you get this look out of other palettes? Yes, you can. If you have the Izzy Art Violet palette, you can almost get this look, to be honest. Is it more expensive? Yes. But is it available? Yes. I did get the two. I did get, the, I, I got the two of Izzy Art palettes, y'all. So excited. The cashmere, the the first one, I forget what this one is. It's got cashmere in its name, but the, the cashmere palette, the Izzy Art cashmere palette is my favorite. Yeah, my favorite palette. And, or is it Paris? Not Paris Love Letters. I don't know. I'm going to have to put on my Vizzy Art collection. But it's one of my favorites. So you knew as soon as I seen that launch, I was like, I need that now. I need it now. We will figure out that water bill later. I need that. So I did get it, thank goodness. Um, but I am so excited and waiting on that one. I still have the Elm Street coming in too, which it'll be Christmas when it gets here. <laughs> Will it be worth it? Probably. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. You know, what can you do about it? So that is all I have for you today. I don't think I went over anything. I don't think I have anything else. Nope. Um, if you like this video, get a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I do upload every day, but Sunday, unless there's a newer launch that I get in. And you can come hang out while I ramble about absolutely nonsense for 30 minutes. I do it all day, really, but you only get 30 minutes of it, so, you know. I feel bad for my fiancé and children. But that's all I have. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.